Hi, I'm Mike Ono, the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to go over the entire Record Store Day 2022 Black Friday list. Okay, I think this is almost everything. I might be missing a thing or two. It's still early in the week. There's plenty of days for late arrivals to arrive, but this is the bulk of it. Uh, first, I'll kind of go over with you how we operate on Record Store Day. We open the store Black Friday at 8 o'clock Arizona time. You have an opportunity to come in, and like all record store days, you can buy one of every one of these items, no more than one. And yeah, that's it. The following day, which is going to be Saturday at 6 o'clock Eastern time, everything that is unsold from Black Friday will be on our website. It'll go right onto the front main page. If you've purchased in the past, you know where to find it. But the right on the main page of the ingroove.com, you'll see the category for the record store day list. We order an obnoxious amount of RSD product, so we're going to have plenty of stuff that is going to go on the website the following day. Again, Saturday the 26th at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and we'll be open up Black Friday 8 o'clock. Also keep in mind we live stream the entire event from 8 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock at night Arizona time. Put a camera in the corner like we've done for years now. We're going to live stream the entire event. Okay, so let's go over the CDs, cassettes, and singles and 10 inches. Okay, Fleetwood Mac, the alternate collection. They did it on vinyl as well, but this is essentially all of the alternate albums they've done so far in the years leading up to this. So we've got the alternate Rumors, self-titled, Tusk, Live, Mirage, and Tango at the Night. This is the CDs. So the alternate CDs. If I can get that to focus, but uh, yeah, Put that over here. Keith Richards, main offender cassette. It includes a concert, which is uh, the Winos live in London, 1992. We're getting a little tradition going with these Keith Richards cassettes. Some more CDs. We've got Ultra Vox, Rage in Eden. This is the Steve Wilson Stereo Mix. I think this is a vinyl record as well. All right, we've got some seven inches. Is this the same thing twice? Yes, it is. Dave Davies, 21st Century. This is a unearthed demo. We've also got Grinsky Bluegrass. We've got a 10 inch Motley Crew. Let's see, four track EP, out of print for 35 years. 10 inch red vinyl. And the last seven inch is Emma Swift, Julian Hatfield. Uh, cover, uh, they're covering some Neil Young for charity. This is limited to 1500. Okay. Let's get on to the vinyl. Let's see. Is there any rhyme or reason to this? No, there is not. Okay. Motorhead. Live in Malamo 2000. We are Motorhead tour. Limited edition, previously unreleased live album on double green vinyl. Volume three, we have eight ball. We are the South, two LP colored vinyl, silver and blue edition. First time on vinyl, silver and blue vinyl. Let's see, Moe's Allison, live in 1978. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I haven't really looked at the list very much. And uh, a lot of this stuff I'm seeing for the very first time. So kind of while you're watching, most of you guys might know more about this stuff than me. Okay, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, Cheek to Cheek Live. Tape live at the Jazz uh, Lincoln Center. Double LP. This will actually sell well. Lady Gaga sells well. And this whole... Uh, series that she did you know the two albums so far i think with tony bennett they sell pretty consistently to this day 
Big Bill Bronzy, live in Amsterdam, 1953. This is on Rockbeat. David Bowie and Bing Crosby. Peace on Earth and Little Drummer Boy. 45 RPM vinyl. On candy cane vinyl. Another Dave Bowie title. We've got, let's see, the next day, extra EP. First time on vinyl. Let's see, Jacka and Burner. Drought season. The hip hop titles are the ones that kind of just not a clue what I'm looking at. They tend to be the most popular titles. Brother Lynch Hung. Limited edition blood splattered vinyl. And they tend to have a lot of potential for appreciation as well. I had some insane clown posses that came in on trade from a few years back to like four or five hundred bucks a piece. Black Label Society. Scullage. Limited edition, 180 gram translucent emerald green vinyl. Record store day exclusive. This is gonna be a popular title. The Cure, this is Wish, which has been out of print for years and years and years. This is a picture disc, 2LP picture disc. Old 97s performs the songs of Johnny Cash. Oh, that could be good. I got stripes. I'll reckon it's a mystery train. Colored vinyl doesn't specify the color. Harry Chapin. Complete hit singles collected in their original single mixes for the very first time. Limited to 2,000 copies on yellow vinyl. Chef Kef. Sosa's back, first time on vinyl. You know, that's a really cool cover. You got 10,000, actually it looks like $100 with a bunch of fake hundreds below it. Couldn't even put together 10,000 for a photo shoot. Come on, man. Somebody go to the bank and get it done. We got the army, uh, the army figurines. We got Chef there on the front. He's an army figurine and we got some jacks. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool cover actually. Musically, it's probably not up my alley, but I dig the cover. Blown up, though, it's uh, very apparent those are some fake hundies. Coriel, the godfather of fusion. This is a one-time pressing from Culture Factory. What color is it? Peach? Looks like a peach color. Bobby Cole, a point of view. The legendary 1967 Piano Jazz album. This is on Omnivore. Marshall Crenshaw. 40th Anniversary Expanded Edition. Includes a bonus seven song EP. Five unreleased tracks. The Jim Carroll Band. Catholic boy. This is on Fat Possum. Captain Beefheart, clear shot. I actually did a real nice job on the cover. It's like a nice puffy type cover embossed. Much better than the original. Original 1972 album recut from the master tapes. I wonder who did it. Doesn't specify. Additional credits. Actually, let's check the back. Reissue credits. Done by Chris Bellman at Burning Ground Men Mastering. This could be analog, you know, if it was recut. Let's see, what's the exact wording on there? Recut from master tapes. Could be analog, even if it's master safety tapes. This is a title that I'm actually going to take myself. I'm looking forward to this one. Duran Duran, Hammerschmidt, 1982. This is a double on gold vinyl. It's like prime Duran Duran at their peak. Kind of dig the uh, 
the cover. Devo, Gerald vs. Cassell. This is, let's see, the Invisible Man EP, six new tracks, clear invisible vinyl. We've got Dream Window. I have no clue what this is, but uh, there it goes, yeah. Dave Davies. Fractured Minds. First time on vinyl, Spring Green, double LP. This I listened to, this was actually pretty cool. I dug it. Uh, the Doors, Paris Blues. It includes uh, previously unreleased live recordings and the long-awaited, last known unreleased Doors song. I guess everything is the last unreleased door song until they find the next one. I kind of got the feeling when I read that, but uh, it's not bad. It's very bluesy. Uh, let's see, new original cover painting by Doris guitarist Robbie Krieger. But my favorite band of all time. I'm picking up. Uh, I'm picking up uh, Doris title if it comes out. Pretty much every time. There is some tracks with Albert King on these. On this, that's like absolutely smoking. Yeah, he does Little Red Rooster, Rock Me Baby, and Who Do You Love? Who Do You Love? Awesome. Engine Kid, Angel Wings. This is uh, got a bonus 7-inch on it with it. Bonus uh, Olympic 7-inch with brand new recordings. What do we got here? Paquito de Riviera, Reunion. We've got the Dead Milkman. Metaphysical Graffiti. 100% of the label profits go to charity. EM, EPMD, We Mean Business. Classic reunion album released for the first time on red and black splatter vinyl, limited to 2000. I mean, this. It's like titles like this, you know? It could be a sleeper, I don't know. This is actually, you know, I'm, I like Billie Eilish. I wasn't a huge fan of this album, but this cover is awesome, man. Uh, it looks so much better with this foil other than just, you know, the normal brown color. But it's just her latest album, Happier Than Ever After, printed on a rainbow, rainbow foil stock and includes a limited edition litho poster. But check it out. Looks pretty good. Steve Forbit. Let's see, live at the bottom line. First time on vinyl, 180 gram, double LP. Edgar Frosse, this is Aqua, another, yeah, another Culture Factory title. The Four Tops, second album. Let's see, second official American reissue in more than, second official American LP reissue in the first in more than 40 years. So yeah, cool, let's get some of these Motown records in stock. This is like a perfect type of title for Black Friday Record Store Day. Titles like this are sellable from the minute I get them until they sell. Some other stuff, it's like, do I get it? Is it going to sell? If it doesn't sell, is it going to sit around? Stuff like that doesn't sit around. Ace Freely, Origins, Volume 2, First Time Picture Disc. You know, because that's like a title that should be in print, really. So... Fountains of Wayne, Traffic and Weather, limited to 4,000 copies, includes printed inner sleeve and lyrics orange with black streaks vinyl. What is that, like a Ford Taurus? My grandmother had one of those. Reeked of cigarette smoke. She was a, she was a hardcore smoker. Okay. Fleetwood Mac, let's see, this is the box set, vinyl box set to the alternate uh, titles. Every single one of these alternate Fleetwood Mac titles sold out immediately. I think there's a lot of people that missed them. I think this is actually going to be really popular. But yeah, 
same thing as the CD. You got the alternate itself, Rumors, Tusk, Live, Mirage, and Tango in, in the Night, which is pretty much the Fleetwood Mac that in 2022 everybody's looking for. Goldfinger, Hello Destiny, 15 year anniversary limited edition colored vinyl. Also, always popular, always sells out, The Grateful Dead. This is uh, live at Wembley, 1972. The complete show available for the first time on vinyl, limited to 10,000 copies. Let's see, we got GBH. City Baby attacked by rats. Looks like it's on some sort of yellowish green vinyl, what do they call this? Limited, oh, excuse me, lime green vinyl. Another box that is sure to sell out. This is the Jerry Garcia Band, limited edition of 7,500 on 580 gram LPs, live from the mothership, featuring special guest Bruce Hornsby. This is 1991. The Gun Club, another Culture Factory title. Live at the Hacienda, 1984. Never released on vinyl until now. Cool looking, uh, cool looking vinyl splatter, like a white and purple splatter. Green Jelly. What is this? Music to insult your intelligence by. We've got the Heartbreakers, the LAMF Demo Sessions, four studio sessions from 1976 to 1977 on magenta vinyl. Pretty cool, you got uh, all the master tapes featured on the back. This is kind of interesting seeing this. This is actually uh, Jimi Hendrix, Burning Desire. Let's see what it says. Official Jimi Hendrix bootleg, 1969-1970 uh, studio recordings, mixed by Eddie Kramer, pressed on audiophile grade vinyl uh, at QRP, translucent orange and red. My very, very first record store day was Black Friday 2015, and this was one of the titles, and it was actually pressed at QRP. This is actually a record store day Black Friday reissue. I don't know. The last one was pressed at QRP as well. I don't know if that's ever been done before, but yeah. Hot Tuna, Yellow Fever. It's by Friday Music. Head Cat. Let's see, it's got Lemmy on it. Slim Jim Phantom and Danny B. Harvey. Janis Joplin, what is this? First ever official release, newly restored early recordings of two music legends. Let's see, what are they playing here? Oh, man, this is some early stuff right here. Check it out. We have the Jesus Lizards. Shot, let's see, limited to 2,500 copies. Fire orange with black streaks pressing. This is by Real Gone Music. New album by Jungle? Good times and problems. Actually, it looks like it's just a 12 inch single. Jungle actually sells really well here in the store. Skip James, new album. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not a new album. This is the complete 1931 sessions. RSD excuse, uh, exclusive, transparent orange colored vinyl, limited to 1500 copies. Uh, this is done by Org Music. Ahmad Jamal, Emerald City Lights. This is one of the titles I myself am going to get. This is uh, live at the Penthouse, 1965 to 1966. This is also available as a two CD set. I think that came out previously. This is limited to 5,000. Two LP set. 
Looks like it was mastered by Bernie Grunman. Let's see, the Jubilee Hummingbirds. The Gospel Express. If I saw this coming in a collection, I'd be uh, immediately off to Discogs because it looks expensive. What is this? Another uh, Ma Jamal. That was live at the Penthouse 6566. This is live at the Penthouse 1963 and 1964. Mastered by Bernie Grunman as well. Remastered audio transferred from the original tape reels. Includes a booklet. Looks pretty well done. Photographs are fantastic on the back here. Limited to 5,000. Same label. I will definitely uh, be probably taking this here. Let's see. Etta is better than ever. Etta James. Let's see. The Outstanding Chess Album was released in 1976. Yeah, so this is an... I've never even seen this Etta James album, so... It can't be that common. But, you know, in Arizona, we don't get a ton of soul. But I've got most of Etta James stuff, I'd imagine. KSI. First time on vinyl. Dissimulation. Kind of almost look like a gorilla's record there for a minute. I'm like, wait a minute, gorillas have a release? I didn't know about this. Yeah, but like I said, half of this stuff I've never even seen. Somebody else processed this order. I guess I ordered it, but that was a long time ago. Kitty Oracle, first time on vinyl, clear red edition. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what you guys are after, because I'm really, I'm at a loss for this particular release. I'm not really sure what the hot titles are going to be. I mean, I know the Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia, the Fleetwood Mac, the jazz titles, they'll sell. This is The Knife, live at Terminal 5. But let me know what you guys are after. I'm kind of curious. Kid in Play, too hype. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Classic album available for the first time on vinyl since 1998. And let me tell you what, I've never seen one of these on uh, on vinyl. Never one, never once has one of these things come into the store. I'm having flashbacks of my youth, man. This is awesome. Look at that. Jorma Kakuen. I'm sure I butchered that. Let's see, this is on Culture Factory as well. He was on the uh, Janis Joplin record as well. Original album art, double disc, looks like it's on like a teal and orange vinyl. Two LP set. Grant Lee Phillips. Joe Lovano, Other Worlds. Lights. Siberia Acoustic. Okay, ooh, this is what I'm going to take. More than likely this is analog. Candid has come out and said that Bernie Grunman is doing these all from the original Analog Master tape tapes but this is uh, Mingus self-titled let's see remastered by Bernie Grumman from original master tapes they've done a lot of these as record store day titles and there's also like five or six different candid reissues that are just in stock now at the store uh, original soundtrack to Mimic Varasi Saraban kind of has that split gatefold center opening cover Another title that I'm excited about because, again, these are going to sell. Uh, Martha and the Vandells, Dance Party. It's got nowhere to run. Like, I'll tell you what. <laughs> like, good luck getting this in a record store. Like, wandering into a record store and you're going to just find this? Maybe, but not likely. In Arizona, it's never happened once. So, never had a copy come in the store. Uh, let's see the monkeys. More of the monkeys. This is yeah from Friday Music. 
there's a version of this that is on my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list and that is the one you should buy but i'm sure this is colored or you know for the collectors they're going to want this but if you just want to listen to it get the other one another title from candid this one i grabbed from myself already remastered from bernie grumman by the original from the original master tapes this is Thelonious Monk, the classic quartet. All right. Did we make it through? I don't know. One more. Mad Lib. Low budget, hi fi music. Little more. Let's see. Let's see. Keep California green and golden. One more row. Bees do popular every year, Madonna, everybody. 40th anniversary limited collector's edition, Madonna's very first 12 inch single remastered and pressed on 180 gram black audio file vinyl. My Little Pony, I mean, someone's gonna buy this. It's like one of those albums, I don't order My Little Pony. Everyone's gonna ask me, hey Mike, where, where do I get the My Little Pony? Where is that located in the store? And I don't want to make any little girls cry, so here we go. My Little Pony, a new generation, motion picture soundtrack. Ted Nugent, Spirit of the Wild, first time on vinyl, featuring two unreleased songs, Guns and Fan the, Fan the Flame. This is limited edition of uh, 3,000 units. What are some of the tracks on here? I shot back, Love Jacker. But uh, yeah, this is on Sound City. Let's get physical, physical. Okay, Libby Newton John, picture disc of physical. Let's see. Ooh, is that a foil cover? Okay, this is uh, one of the few albums that there is I could show you guys. Nashville Pussy, first time on green and white vinyl. Let's see the back cover. Yep, cleared. Nico, live at the Liberty Theater in 1983. Never released on vinyl until now. This is on Cherry Red Records. Another Culture Factory release. We've got Novos Babanos. Fifty years, voted number one in the top hundred Brazilian albums ever. Oh, Mr. Bongo, probably gonna get that. Willie Nelson, live at the Budokan, from 1984. We've got <laughs> Corla Pandit, Genie of the Keys. Let's see, this is from Craft Limited Edition, blue opaque vinyl. Corla Pandit stuff is actually pretty difficult to find in good shape and always popular. Oscar Peterson on a clear day. This is live in Zurich, 1971. Uh, ambulance is going by. Limited edition, I really dig how they did like a foil, uh, they did kind of like a foil imprinting on there. This is 1,088 of 2,800. Clear vinyl, unreleased concert. Pack Div, the Div. First time on vinyl. Get the Div by Pack Div, first time on vinyl. Classic hip hop album. What do we got here? Pucho and his Latin Soul Brothers. Ubiquity. Mm, man, this looks good. I'm gonna get this. This album looks a dynamite. The opening track of the 1972 Super Freak is a brilliant nearly. Oh yeah, this looks good. It's Thriller. Now not the rec not, not the Mobile Fidelity Thriller. It's Augustus Pablo's Thriller on Org Music, limited to 2000, out of print for 40 plus years. 
Iggy Pop. Is this another culture factor? Man, it's culture factor. No, this is not. It kind of has that Obi like them. Appers. Let's see. New edition, 10th anniversary. Papa Roach. Ego Trip. Includes a bonus acoustic 7 inch disc. Really nice. Almost thought it was a textured cover, but it's the shrink. I will be getting this one as well. This is a Jacko Pastoris. This is on Resonance Records. This is limited to 5,000. This is the second pressing. I don't have the first pressing, so I don't know when I missed that. This is live in New York City, the complete 1982 NPR Jazz Alive recording. Jonathan Richmond. Jonathan Sings. Raza and Bobby Digital. Pretty cool cover. Available for the first time on vinyl. Kind of that linen type feel. Pete Rock. Pressed on red vinyl. Return of the SP-1200. Ah. Volume 2. Little techniques reference there. It's kind of interesting to see how Record Store Day morphed from a bunch of indie 7 inch singles to a lot more hip hop and a lot uh, jazz. The little, you know, there's some mainstream stuff as well in here with very little 7 inch, 7 inches. Uh, the Rubinos back to the drawing board. I think it's really gotten to the point now where I look at half of this stuff and I'm like, what the hell is this? But it sells. I mean, it's to the point now where they're putting out a lot. A lot of desirable titles. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers Return of the Dream Canteen. This is the exclusive cover poster and limited edition neon pink vinyl. Actually, out of all of the versions I've seen of this so far, this is by far and away the nicest cover. There's a gatefold edition, a standard edition, I think an indie edition, and now the Record Store Day edition. Raza versus Bobby Digital. Digital Potions. But uh, the hip hop stuff is actually kind of cool because it's bringing a different crowd into the store uh, who are looking for these albums that might not be used to going to record stores and they sell out. I mean, not a lot of those stick around. Man, this is extremely well done. What is this? I have no clue what this is. Rival Schools United by Fate 20th Anniversary Collector's Edition. I mean, exceptionally well done. Big book. Looks like there's two discs in there, but uh, yeah. This is on Run for Cover Records. Kind of looks like the front and back are lithoed. This, no clue what it was when I ordered it. I wish I ordered more. I got quite a bit of them, but I think I could have sold even more. This is Todd Rundgren's Something. This is a 4LP set, remastered from the original tapes by uh, Chris Bellman at 45 RPM. This is essentially like, uh, this is like a one-step or a UHQR without the big box. Uh, 4 LP, 45 RPM, audiophile record of a record that's actually been done by Mobile Fidelity in the past. But man, this thing sounded really good in the store. I listened to it earlier today. I really, you know, I'm going to spend a little more time going through that and listening to it against the MoFi and some of the other versions. But just a quick list, and like I said, I was pretty impressed. Ringo Starr, Old Wave, by Culture Factory. Limited to, I think the number on this was actually pretty small for a Beatles title. The script. We've got uh, Tales from the Script. Ooh, Tales from the Script. Snoop Dogg. What is this, Kool-Aid? Yeah, Kool-Aid. First time on vinyl, limited edition, lime green plus a download card. Two LP set. 
Rick Springfield, Jesse's Girl, 40th Anniversary Edition. Yep, that's uh, Rick Springfield, 40 years later. So it's got a uh, special edition live recording, recording from 83, him doing it in Spanish, the 2016 version, and then the demo version. I mean, this is every bit of Jesse's Girl you could possibly ever want. The Stark Reality discovers Hoagie Carmichael's music shop. Man, it's... Wow, I'm going to give this... Well, this looks good. What's going on here? Very, very interesting. Lacquer by Bernie Grunman and an all-analog transfer directly from the master tapes. Yeah, like I said, this is a record store day that's been uh, somewhat surprising. The debut album from the band that would become the 3 o'clock limited edition includes the original 1982 cover art on orange vinyl with like a little top obi there. Again, guys, tell me what you guys are looking for. If you don't like any of it, go ahead and tell me. Marnie Stern. I'm really, like I said, I'm trying to get a little bit of a vibe for how this is going to be. I mean, we'll know ultimately together simultaneously when we do the live stream. If I'm standing in front of the camera yammering on because there's no customers in the store, we'll know how the record store day did. Let's see, Smash Mouth. This is going to be popular. Uh, it's got Walking on the Sun. And, you know, if it's a hundredth of as popular as it was in the, what, when this came out, 1990, late 90s? If it's a hundredth of how popular and overplayed this was in the 90s, this is going to sell out. D. Snyder and Lizzie Hale, The Magic of Christmas. Some D. Snyder Christmas. We've got almost done. Shadows Fall, The Art of Balance. Sweet. Give us a wink. Limited edition of 4,000 units. Alternate mixes and demos. Cool. It's got the uh, master tape boxes on the back. Music Millennium. Joe Strummer. Live at Music Millennium. Recorded in 1999. Ringo Starr in his all-star band. Live at the Greek Theater. Two LP set, I Want to Be Your Man. I saw Ringo in 2000. Fantastic show. I mean, he plays all the stuff that he pretty much sings with the Beatles, and then you get all the tracks from the cast of the All-Star Band. It was a good show. Really enjoyed it. For some reason, I haven't gone back since. I've tried. I was going to go to the last one, but he played the exact same day as the Rolling Stones, so I picked the Rolling Stones. Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, Going to a Go-Go. Again, another title that has not been in print for 40 years. Yeah, I want to say the last time that these things were reprinted was that 80, 81, 82, 83, that era, you know, that era when they did uh, pretty much a full reissue of the uh, Motown catalog. Gary Sarcho and Medeo. So that's really the last time this is on impulse. That was the last time that those albums got a repress. The Supremes, Where Did Our Love Go? First time, second official American reissue in the... This is worded funny. Okay, second American official reissue and the first in 40 years. They're really belaboring that point, but uh, it's been a while. Slaughterhouse, the debut album from the supergroup available for the first time on vinyl. Silverstein, Arrivals and Departures, 15th Anniversary Edition. We've got Tommy Townsend, Southern Man. With Waylon Jennings, Record Store Day, Black Friday exclusive. 
This is another title I'm probably going to get. 40th anniversary of, uh, let's see, let's see, what is this? Tower of Power, the Fillmore Auditorium, San Francisco. It's probably really good. Give this a listen. This is embossed as well. 1344 of 2700. Includes a digital download as well. Trailer Bride, 25th anniversary on cloudy orange vinyl. Frank Black and the Cathaholics. One more road for the hit. 140 gram vinyl, Black Friday 2022, exclusive record store day pressing. We've got Chris Travis, Art of Destruction, first time on vinyl. The Unto Others. Is that the name of it? Yeah, Unto Others. Strength 2. Deep Cuts. Showed you the CD earlier. This is the vinyl of Ultravox. Half Speed Mastered by Alchemy at Air. Includes bonus instrumental version of the album. Like I said, this is the Steve Wilson remix. Vintage Trouble, Juke Joint Gems. Tony Williams. Play or Die, I might have to get this. Love Tony Williams. Fantastic. Soundtrack from The Watchmen. First time combo release of, let's see, My Chemical Romance. Leonard Cohen, Jimmy, Tyler Bates, original score. What else? This will be very popular. The Weekend, Dawn FM. Came out on CD. We actually had autographed indie exclusives of it. It would have been really cool if they would have did this as an autographed copy. But, uh, yeah. That was one of the cooler... Indie exclusive autograph CDs we got in the past year. Wolfpack box set. Let's see. Contains their three full length LPs. Let's see. Exclusive gray vinyl from Southern Lore. Young Dolph, Rich Slave. Limited to 4,000 worldwide. Jim Ward, half a world away. This is limited to 1,000. An extremely difficult Town Van Zandt album to get. Of course, they're all extremely difficult. Ironically enough, I had my very first copy of this in the store the other day. Sold it. Mastered and Lacquer's Cut by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. This is from Kraft. Let's see, this is a comp uh, from Tommy Boy, Baddest Beats, featuring the hits from the legendary hip-hop label. House of Pain, Jump Around, Naughty by Nature, the Humpty Dance. Oh, man, this is awesome. Coolio's Gangster Paradise. Yeah, this is solid. I might have to pick that up myself. I'm not one for comps, but I don't really want to hear Coolio's entire album. I just want to hear it, Gangster's Paradise. Let's see, Avco Vision, Soul Covers. Soul Covers of popular songs by Bob Dylan, The Supremes, Elvis, Ray Charles, and more. Man, this could be good too. Let's see, the best of Dark Horse Records. Ravi Shankar, are you kidding me? Everybody with George Harrison? Makes no sense, okay. The best of 1974 to 1977. Brian Wilson, Long Promise Road. Original motion picture soundtrack, music by Brian Wilson. Cool, uh, cool cover. Up next we have one of the uh, 
better titles I always look forward to. The Jazz Dispensary's Haunted High. A surreal soundtrack. Let's see, pressed on pink splattered vinyl. These are pretty cool. That's actually cool. There's a little wolf on the top of the mountain that's foiled. And that's on the other side too. Little tiny foiling. Waxwork, the original motion picture soundtrack. Oh man, that's creepy. Die cut cover. Roger Bellin. Music from the cult horror available for the first time. The movie doesn't look like something uh, that I'd want to watch. A, it's a horror film. I don't like horror films and boy, that looks pretty awfully done. But the soundtrack could be quite good. I do dig the horror soundtracks. But that is it, guys. Yeah, so we're going to have all the stuff in the store. 8 o'clock, Black Friday, the following day. It's going to be on the website starting at 6 o'clock Eastern Time at theingroove.com. Until next time.